Hello Gamer, it's Mike Desorch here, and this is a quick video, a little bit of an update on the channel. I know I haven't been very productive lately, um, some, some stuff happening here, some bad weather in the area. We had a tornado scare yesterday, actually, but this is a PSA for you gamers out there uh, to help you stay safe. Now, there is this thing out there called two-factor authentication and it works in various ways. You can either get a notification via email, and they will send you a code that you would then use when you sign in with your password, or there is one that MeWe uses where they send you an email and they you click a link to authorize that it's you and they don't use a password at all. And then there are tokens, and what you would do is you would set up some kind of software usually on your phone and it would handle all your tokens and what this does is they give you a key you enter this key in and it will then generate a random set of numbers usually up to six or more numbers and then when you sign in with a password it will then the site will then ask you for the number that's currently on your phone and you look it up and it refreshes every like 30 seconds or maybe longer depending on you know which one it is most a lot of services use it online paypal uses this a lot and you would enter that in and you would sign in final fantasy uses this too and you can use it through authy you can use it through google authenticator um any kind of app that allows you to have those tokens and then there's Steam Guard, and Steam has their own app for this, although I wish they would let you use your own um, thing like Authy, whatever. But it's not 100% foolproof. Uh, the, um, the guy that runs TechAris, Tech he had a problem with 2FA uh, failing on him, and he had to contact a fraud department with a company and it's not foolproof protection but it is definitely better protection than just a password just a password that can easily be intercepted can easily be figured out because not everybody uses a really secure password um long strings with numbers and characters and, and letters not everybody uses that. They try to use something that they can easily remember. I know I'm, I'm pretty bad for that. But um, 2FA adds an extra layer of protection and it is like any type of security. It is not 100% foolproof. It is not unbreakable. It can be broken. It's harder to break. It's a lot harder to break than the regular password but it is at least a layer of protection. So if you use Steam, or if you are on, say, um, the Epic Store, if you're on the Epic Store, it, it uses 2FA. Steam uses 2FA with Steam Guard through their own Steam app on the phone. You use PayPal. If you play Final Fantasy XIV, you can set up um, their token on Authy so that when you sign in to the MOG station, you have to enter the code to get in. And, and you get some bonuses for using 2FA too. Some games, if they offer 2FA for it, use it to protect your account, especially if those games have microtransactions and you wanna protect your account and protect your payment, um, protect your stored payment method that you're using. Definitely use 2FA wherever you can. Again, while it is not a foolproof method of protection, it is not you know, unbreakable. There's nothing that's unbreakable. Even YubiKey, which is a, a physical token device that you plug into a USB port when you sign into a service, even that is not completely unbreakable. Even that is not unbreakable but it is way better protection than just nothing at all. Way better protection. And right now, the way, way things are right now, you need to protect your accounts. Because, you know, if you have big libraries like I do, you need to protect your Steam investment 
or if you have a lot of games that you bought off of, say, the Epic Store, if you use PayPal a lot, or uh, if you, um, you know, have Amazon Prime, Amazon does 2FA. Use it everywhere that you can, especially on your game accounts where there's microtransactions and you have uh, a, a payment method stored in that account for that game definitely use it look at all the games that you've signed up with, with that you have to sign in with an account for and see if they offer 2fa if they do get something like Authy or google google authenticator see if see if it works with those and it probably will and then set it up now they will give you a special key that you need to that you need to keep that was sort of a backup so that in case something goes wrong you can still get you into your account they'll give you a special emergency key all of them will do this so make sure that you pour that down and then you put it someplace where you can find it you know write it down if you have to and put it in a, a card or something in your wallet or or uh, put it on a USB stick and hide that stick in a place where you know where you will be able to find it but keep those keep those keys because they're vitally important but can't stress this more this it, it's not foolproof protection but at least it's better than just a bare plain password and the way things are, are right now you definitely need to protect yourself i'm not saying this because anything happened to me but I saw this happen to Tech Eris, and um, I thought, you know, this is something that gamers need to know because people's accounts are getting hacked into in games. Um, there have been people who have had their Steam accounts hacked into, and so every little bit of extra protection helps. Hope this helps you out. Hope you learned a little something, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. VR stuff is coming back. Um, the baby cat, which we have named Spark, and, and he's a, a boy. We've been able to confirm that. He's a boy. Is uh, becoming a little more independent from mommy. And he is a little beast. He's a Helligan. Um, he, uh, he's very aggressive when he plays. He loves to play. And he... His little claws are like damn sharp. I've got the scars all over me to show it. <laughs> anyway, I've been Mike Zorch. Thanks for watching, and I'll definitely be seeing you soon. Bye.